On this edition of Savatech TV, we take you inside a valuable training experience hosted on the grounds of Savatech's training facility located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. The unique education pairs heavy-duty tow truck operators with fire rescue personnel, tackling accident scenes together with the latest tools available in the industry to save precious time in rescuing victims while optimizing safety on scene for everyone involved. Dave Lander, Executive Vice President of Savatech North America, organized the event. We put this event together because in an effort to make uh, fire and rescue operate and work safer and more efficiently, uh, the addition of a tow truck or heavy rescue lifting equipment into a situation like this where you're dealing with another heavy vehicle, um, it makes life safer for the fireman, the tow truck operator, and the victims inside the car. The other thing it does is it actually speeds the opening of the roadway and the mitigation of the incident so that you're less likely to have secondary collisions, other road ad traffic accidents, or things that could hurt the motoring public or the operational people coming to the scene. Several classroom hours parlayed into these large-scale, realistic scenarios simulating real accidents, real patients trapped inside, and a real emergency situation. Our safety experts overseeing the training on this day bring a combined 45 years of real-life experience on the New York City Police Department's Emergency Services Unit, George Krant and Randy Miller. Uh, Randy Miller from the New York City Police Department, where I'm a rescue team manager for the Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. So in this scenario, we have a car that's underneath the tractor trailer. We're going to have the fire rescue guys go with their first attack, and we're going to have the wrecker operators come in and support and assist them. And then at the end, we're going to have both sides look at it and say, what can we do different, and how can we work together for a better possible outcome? What do we think? How do we make out? Uh, it's okay. everybody? That's all right. That's okay. If it was easy, then you wouldn't bring us down here to do, you know, to have a class. Now we did shift probably a little tiny bit in the cables, but with all due respect to every piece of cribbing, stabilization, everything we have here, that's, that had it. Yes, it did move or flex, whatever we want to call it, but we still had it because, again, it's double choked and it's on two separate lines. Several towing companies donated their time and equipment to help set up and carry out the training, including this Jerdan 50-60-ton JFB rotator owned by Gulf Coast Truck Trailer Towing and Repair in Port Charlotte, Florida, and this Vulcan 950 50-ton rotator operated by Edgewater Towing and Recovery in Edgewater, Florida. There's a lot of new products in the industry. There's a lot of qualified people, a lot of qualified instructors. We get the train, cross-train. They learn our techniques, we learn theirs. Um, we have to learn how to work together and take directions. So this one, we have a tanker trailer that partially overturned on top of a vehicle. We're simulating that there's two, two victims inside the car, a driver and a passenger. And we're going to try to force the fire guys to use some airbag lifting techniques in this, on this scenario. And then we're going to supplement it again with a heavy duty articulating boom wrecker. I think uh, we're limiting what the guys can do and we're trying to make both sides of the house operate outside their comfort zone so they both learn from each other. As you can see, Savatech's RIT kit is the focus of this exercise, a cushion kit that lifts up to 10 tons, all in a portable unit that fits inside its own red backpack. Uh, the RIT kit is actually a commercialized version of a kit that's made or has been made for the U.S. military for over 10 years. The uh, RIT kit comes out of the Special Operations Command, the Military Special Operations Command, uh, and the U.S. Uh, Parajumper Program, which called for a uh, man-portable kit to do heavy rescue work. So in New York City, we're running with this kit to lift subway trains. Because two of us show up in that little truck, we go to the back compartment, one guy puts the backpack on, the other guy grabs some cribbing, and we're going. For something that small and that portable, 
I, I'm a fan of it. And, and again, I'm not a salesman by any, any regards. I like things I like. And if they work and they're end user fam friendly. My name is Conrad Cairns. I work for Daytona Beach Fire Department. Uh, I have seen a lot of new tools in the way of some of the heavy duty lift bags they have over there. Uh, uh, they're, they're capable of lifting much more than what we carry, so it's nice to know that those assets are available to us. Camaraderie and morale is very high out here with the firefighters today. Rhett Swallows with Daytona Beach Fire Department. Overall, uh, extrication training, really learning how to use the wreckers, and we've no, we're not really well with using our wrecker service, and um, it's really interesting to work with them and figure out how what all they can do. Yeah, we have a vehicle, one vehicle on its side, the other one overturned, and there's a Jersey barrier, a K rail in the middle, like it's a highway incident. So the guys are stabilizing the vehicle in place using the techniques they've learned all day, and they're going to simulate extricating some victims out of the upside down Cadillac, which is the vehicle on the other side facing away from us. Well, they can use the airbags for stabilization. They could also use it to get a lift for better, uh, better access to the patients. But it's an accumulation of the techniques that they've learned all day using all the available resources on scene. The air cushion that's behind us here is a brand new concept. Um, it's not a lifting bag. It's what we call a catching bag. So instead of actually lifting the car or vehicle up, it's designed to catch the car as we upright the car. So what this bag is designed to do is most people that roll a car on its side, at times during the rescue, you can do more damage to the victim by removing them sideways out of the vehicle rather than if you were removing them from a vehicle that was on all four wheels. So this is a concept prototype bag that we're currently testing and working with now. What happens is this bag is inflated uh, up to three pounds of air with nothing more than a cordless leaf blower. The vehicle is brought into the bag in a controlled environment and then lowered to the ground an inch at a time. Once that vehicle is set on the ground, it can be cribbed and stabilized by the firefighters and a standard on wheels extrication is done rather than a much more complicated and tricky side extrication. So it's much safer for the victim inside the vehicle and it's actually safer for the firefighters because they're not using tools in a precarious position up high above their head or over a victim that may be trapped inside the car. And for the largest jobs, Savatech Corporation manufactures the Maxi Lift Recovery System, which can recover loads up to 200,000 pounds. Those are actually vehicle recovery cushions. They're very, very large. They're almost six foot in diameter and 96 inches in height. And what uh, they're setting up to do there is actually recover that tanker as if it were on the side of the road, lifting it with nothing but lift bags. So they'll set up a series of lift bags under that tank and fill them with air. And on the opposite side of the vehicle, there'll be, uh, order, uh, there'll be controlled truck catch bags that will actually catch the load as it comes over and lower it safely and quietly to the ground so there's no chance of cracking or breaking the trailer based on the hard hit as it would flop over. In this particular scenario, the recovery truck is really only used as a safety measure. Clarity in communication is key for the safety and success of a job like this. You can see the Savacom headset system in use here, worn by Brian France with Savatec. The set features an 800-yard range and uses rechargeable batteries. Dave Lander takes us through the benefits of using the MaxiLift recovery system. Uh, the heavy rescue recovery system or truck recovery system uh, is a system unto itself. I'd love to tell you it's a complex system. It looks very, very complex when it's set up and it seems to take some finesse in order to use it. But once you uh, get trained with it, it's a wonderful system. It'll upright trailers of 100,000 pounds or we can even add on to that with additional bags or cushions. Each one of those systems uh, is sold with a training package as well so the operator's not left by themselves. On the opposite side of the trailer you had the brand new Sava catch bag system. It's considered to be the safest catch bag system on the market with the largest contact surface and the most controlled and slow drop pattern uh, in the industry. Guys, any questions on what we did? No, sir. no, good. Did you pick up one thing today? What do you think? Well, if you picked up one thing, then it's a good day of training, right? You're, you're leaving with something that, God forbid, hopefully we never have to use. But if we had to use, now at least we've done something like that in training, and we can adapt and overcome the issues that we have in the street. All right? Sound good? Cool. All right, good. This day would not be possible without the help of many community partners, starting with the excellent instruction of Randy Miller and George Krant. 
Well, Randy and George, I've known Randy and George for almost 20 years. Uh, they're just phenomenally uh, incredible guys. They have a great deal to share. They love to share that with other people. Um, they're the most heroic people I know. In order to put on an event like this, it takes a tremendous amount of commitment. We certainly couldn't do it alone. I need to thank the entire management staff of the Jordan Corporation. I need to thank um, Savatech, DOO, my parent company over in Europe. We also need to thank the uh, two people who donated their time and wrecker operators for the day, uh, Gulf Coast Towing and Trailer and Edgewater Towing of Edgewater, Florida. I'd like to thank all of the fire service representatives that brought their equipment in today and gave the firefighters the opportunity to work with their equipment. Uh, the first is Hal Eastman of Rescue Systems Unlimited uh, out in Tallahassee. He is the Genesis Rescue Tool representative. I need to thank John Evans of Pennsylvania, of the ESI company. He brought in Junkyard Dog, which he, uh, he manufactures stabilization strut systems. Thank you for watching this edition of Savatech TV. For more information on training of this type or the rescue and recovery equipment you have seen in this video, please visit savatech.com.